Merge sorts then. So these are actually kind of efficient merge sorts. They're used in computers, whereas the other ones, bubble sorts, insertion sorts, probably not. But you might have a good chance of uh, finding a computer using a merge sort to do something useful. So let me walk you through it then. It's called a divide and conquer algorithm. And there's a good reason for that, in that it takes a big list like the one I'm writing out now. And the first thing it does is divide it up and divide it up and keep dividing it up until it gets to lists which have got all the length of one. And that'll sort of make sense as I'm going along. So to start with, I've got this big list of numbers here. And as you see, it's got eight numbers in, so the length of that is eight. So first thing I'm gonna do is divide that into two here. Okay, divide into two with that blue wavy line. Uh, I'm gonna write out the numbers again. You'll see why in a little bit. But now I've got two lists which have got the length of four because they've got four numbers in them. And what I do is the same thing. I divide them again. So now I've got, well, I will end up with four lists uh, with two items in them each. And then the same again, but this time when I divide them up because I've got four lists with two items, I'm gonna end up with eight lists with each one only having a single number in. And that means I've reached the end of my divide part of the divide and conquer algorithm. Okay, on to conquering then. So I've divided up my list successfully, and now I need to recombine them along the same lines that I divided them before. So what I mean by that is the first set of numbers I'm gonna consider here are 43 and 26, our first list with two numbers in it. And so which one's lower? I've got 43 here and I've got 26 here. Which one's lower? Well, of course it's 26, so that goes first in the list, and then 43, so that comes next. And then I'm gonna go over to my next uh, sub list here, so my next, next list of two, 18 and 34, which one's lower there? 18, then 34. And then on to my next list here, which one's lower? 53, 31. 31 and 53. And you notice I'm doing this along the same lines that I divided the, the lists uh, into before. So 42 and 99 now go like this because they were 99 and 42 earlier up. Okay, so far so good and so simple. I follow the same process for the next set of numbers. So I recombine my lists of two and now I need to recombine my lists of four. But because I know my lists of two are in order, I only need to look at the first number for each of them. So and that's the beauty of the merge sort, you'll see in a moment. So I've got 26 and 18, which one's smaller out of those two? Well, 18, of course, so 18 goes down there. And then I move my squiggly line along here to 34. And so which ones are making soon just 26 and 34? Which one's smaller there? 26, of course, the line moves up, 43, 34, that's, so I've got 34 next. I can get rid of that line now because I've used all the numbers in my sublist here, so I know I've got 43 left over. And I do exactly the same thing on the right-hand side. So again, along the same line that I divided them um, before, so I've got 53, 31, 99, and 42 that I'm gonna be ordering. 31, 42, which one's lower? 31, then 42, then 53, uh, and then 99. Okay, I've recombined uh, my lists of two now into two lists of four, which means I've got to do one more final recomb uh, recombination here, okay? And I do exactly the same process as before. I'm only looking at the first number of each of the lists, so 18 and 31. So which one's lower? 18, that goes there. Which one's next? And obviously I'm moving my squiggly line up one now to 26, so I've done 18. So which one's lower now? Uh, 26. Then I've got 34, 31, which one's lower? 31, then 34, uh, then I can move that up. So I've got 42 next, then I can move that up, 43. Uh, and then I'm just left over with 53 and 99. And if I look down the bottom, my list is now sorted. Okay, we're all done. And that's the beauty of merge sorts. They can quickly recombine the lists after you divide them up into lists of one to put the whole thing in order. And that's why they're so efficient. Just a final reminder, this obviously works again on letters as well as numbers. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.